By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to render an animation in Cycles, upload your animations to YouTube, and export animations for use in an external game engine, such as Unity. So first we'll set up the render. So using the rolling sphere animation we've created in the previous video, we'll use Cycles, which is now the standard rendering engine of choice. We'll add a ground plane by pressing Shift A, Mesh, Plane, and uh, pressing 7, go to the top view to put it in the center. Roughly, it doesn't need to be a perfect scale, use an S. And uh, press 1, 5 to go into the side view, and uh, we'll just drop it down below the sphere. And uh, make sure that it's about level. We'll then add a lighting plane, because Cycles uses planes for lighting. So we'll right click, press delete, enter to clear the light from the Blender engine. And we we'll press Shift A once more, make another plane and uh, set it up so it's pointing at our sphere. We'll leave the ground plane as the default material, but we'll add an emission material to the lighting plane so that we can see our ball rolling. But we'll create an emission material to light the animation by pressing new, naming it light one, and uh, changing surface to emission, and uh, put it at five. We'll then right click on the sphere, add a material, it will still be in the material tab, press new to be the sphere, selecting glossy, change its roughness slightly so it's not completely glossy, and then making it shading smooth by going to the left and selecting smooth under shading. We'll then go into the render settings by clicking on the camera here and setting the frame range to be that of our animation which in this case is uh, 100. So we change the end frame range to 100 and our start is the first frame. We'll leave the frame step as 1 so that it renders every frame in the animation. We're also going to leave the default frame rate of 24 frames per second. For this example video I'm going to leave the sampling here quite low, about 100, because rendering an animation is as if you're rendering a whole image for each frame. We'll then choose the output folder for the render uh, by clicking on browse and I'm going to choose my blender folder bookmark which is in my C drive otherwise I'd click on my C drive and, and browse to it and accept. I'm then going to choose the output format and I'm selecting H.264 and because my computer has a graphics card which supports CUDA I'll be using my graphics card to compute the render because it's about 10 times quicker in my experience however rendering on the CPU is also fine. We then need to line up the camera to make sure that it views the whole animation by pressing 0 on the numpad. And then if we pull out this menu here by clicking on the plus and click lock camera to view, we can move around the viewport as normal and the camera comes with the view. The next step is to press Control F12 which will start the animation render. Alternatively you could click on render and select render animation. So now you can see the animation's finished. I've browsed to the folder which we outputted it to and open the file, which is here, and I'll just quickly play the animation. It's quite low quality, but if you wanted a better quality version, you could increase the number of samples or play some of the other settings. I'm now going to show you how you can upload this video to YouTube. So go to your web browser, go to YouTube, log in, and click on Upload. Once you're on this page, click on Select Files to Upload, browse to the folder with your animation in it, Select the file, click open, and wait for it to upload. You need to fill in the rest of the settings, but once you've finished, you can click on publish, and YouTube takes care of the rest. So returning to Blender, this is the final frame that's been rendered. Press escape to go back to 3D view. If you want to export your animated mesh from Blender into a format that is suitable for a game engine, you can right click on the mesh that you want to export, click on file, export, and then select Autodesk FBX, which is a format accepted by most of the major game engines. I'm then going to put it into my Blender folder, like before, and we have to select a few important settings. So first of all, we only want armature and mesh being exported. Secondly, we want to make sure the scale is set as 1. And we want to deselect include default take. And then once you've named it, click on export to create the animation file for use in game engines. Thanks for watching this series and subscribe or like if you'd like more videos like this in the future.